The texts in Gateway have all been chosen with teenage students in mind, and they are all real texts about the real world. I would say one of the keys to a successful coursebook is that it has stimulating texts that motivate the students and the teacher. It seems logical then that the last stage of a reading or listening exercise should be to ask the students what they think about the content of the text. A bit like on news or current affairs websites where they ask for readers' opinions and experiences. This section in Gateway is called What About You? Let's see an example from Gateway B1, Unit 10. This one comes just after students have finished all the comprehension and language work for a text about companies that sell essays to students on the internet. We've looked at the text. Uh, there's this man, he's all many, many people with companies selling uh, compositions, essays on the internet. Um, really, now it's a question of what you think about this topic. There are two little questions there at the end of the page. What do you think about buying online essays? Yeah. And would you ever buy an online essay? Why or why not? Okay, so do you need time to think about that or can you chat straight away to your partner? Do you need to think? No. Okay, well, have a chat to your partner, see if you've got the similar ideas. Obviously, I don't want you just to say yes, no, sort of say a little bit more. But what do you think about this? Do you think it's good, bad? Would you do it? When you say, would you, would you buy an online essay, you say, no, no, never. Is there a situation maybe where you might, for some reason, have to buy one or buy one? Have a think, have a chat to your partner, okay? And then we'll discuss as a group. The two questions, you've been talking the two questions, um, what do you think of them? Letitia, what do you think? Good, bad? I think that buying an essay is bad because you don't learn anything, but it could be good if you buy it and read it and because it's good to explain. And mm, do people agree with that? Yes. yes. So really you're agreeing with what Barclay Littlewood said. If you use it as a guide, yeah. It's if okay. you use it uh, as a guide, it's good, but if you just buy it and you don't read it, just give it and... Right, yeah. In that case, it's like the teachers would say that it's, no, it's not learning. Yeah. Um, you said here, in this country, then, people generally don't buy. It's no. free. No. It's free. Yeah. Um, I mean, Wikipedia, if you use Wikipedia, is that the same or is it not the same? It's not the same. Why not, Jaime? Because in Wikipedia, they give you information, but you have to read it and to take the information that you, that you interest. Not all the information and is the word made. You right. have to do it. Right. Yeah. Have you ever tried to sort of take a block and put it into an essay? <laughs> no. No, of course. Sorry. <laughs> stupid question. That was a stupid question. Of course not. I said, would you ever do it? You're going to say no, no, but is there a moment when you would think of doing it if you had to? Yes. yes. Can you think of an example when you might do it if you had to? When, for example, you don't have time to do it at work, you take off internet and you give it. And okay, this is hypothetical, this is imagining. It, it's never happened. It's never but happened. if you didn't have much time. If no? it had to happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Does, do you think that would happen? W could it happen? Could it happen? Do you think it could happen? Yes. yes. <laughs> That's a very honest answer. All of this is off the record. Nobody's listening to us, okay? Um, great, okay. Because these sections are asking for a personal response, they can be unpredictable in terms of timing. I would say that if students have lots to say, let the activity continue. If, on the other hand, students are not particularly interested, I see no point in dragging the conversation on. The section is also a little unpredictable in terms of language, because we can't know exactly what students are going to want to say. A lot of key vocabulary will have appeared previously in the unit thanks to the text and lead-in and comprehension exercises. And in the speaking bank at the back of the book, there are lots of useful expressions, for example, for expressing opinions, agreeing or disagreeing. 
students can have those pages open if you feel it would help them.